So today, because it's a Tuesday and we have a regular scriptural discussion group, and uh, for the past one and a half years we had been studying Viveka Chudamani. Uh, if you remember the last time Maharaj came, he spoke on a Tuesday on Viveka Chudamani. And uh, today we have requested him to talk on 10 verses, uh, something we recently came across. Uh, there, if you don't have a book, then there are some copies here, you can refer to this. We give it to share to people one. Yeah. <coughs> Om Satuma Sadgamaya Tamashuma Yotir Gamaya Mitturma Mitangamaya Abhira Vir Maidi Rudra Yate Dakshinam Mukham Te Namam Pahinityam Te Namam Pahinityam Om Shanti Shanti Shantihi. O Lord, lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness and ignorance to the light and illumination. Lead us from death to immortality and ever more shine in our hearts with your resplendent face of peace, peace, peace be unto us. So we are reading this the Vedika Chayavani is one of the finest book on Vedanta and the treaties. It's such a wonderful, inspiring book, book that the Sanskrit is also very simple and a very deep and profound because it is coming from the understanding and the realization of Sri Shankara, the founder of this Vedanta philosophy, you can say. So, now we are to study today to how to think of Brahman, no? Think that you are that Brahman. Bhavaya, Bhavaya, what is it? All the verses we learn with them? Brahman, Tattvavasi, Bhavaya, Atmani. And that is the direction. Day the day, think that you are Brahman. Taktamasi, thou art that. One of the greatest dictum, four out of the four Mahabhakas, this is the great dictum. So, but you have already studied all these intricacies what is Brahman, what is Atman, uh, what is Asmi, and what is not Brahman. What is not Atman? So this is very important point that how to think. First of all, this has is to stand on the foundation of what we have read already. So we must have to think a little bit of that what we have read. Point is that a person who is sincerely seeking for the truth and wants to know who am I? What is this universe? What is behind this universe? This mystery to know. So that person will search, searching. That person will go to a teacher. And then what is the requisite of that student? Student is very sincere and he is restless to know the truth. And he will say, you Lord, I am in such misery, please help me. Katham tariyam bhavasim dunei tadnaki kaba gutir that is the verse number 40 kaba gutir me katamastu apaya jane na kinchit kripaya avo maan prabhu samsara dukkha shodim atadushva that's that type of student who is searching katam tarayam bhavashim dhumetat. How shall I cross the ocean of birth and death? Bhavashindu, the world, the samsara. And you come little 
ফ্রমিটেশন ফাইনান মানে 
this origin of our, we belong to this sage and proud. That pride is necessary from the beginning. That will not allow you to do something which is unethical, which is not up to the dignity of that family tradition. No. This, this is tradition. So it is very much necessary for the beginning. Now you think, you enter into the school, but now you are getting uh, out of the school. When you are getting out of the school, then you will have to think, this is no more for me, I am aware of that. It is not out of pride or arrogance, but it is for gradual transformation of the inner personality. I cannot limit myself, but I belong to this lineage of sadhu, and that lineage, you are different, I am different. It is a state of perfect union. So you cannot keep any type of distinction there, that I am different from you, in the Atman, level of the Atman. Can you understand this point? Otherwise it is necessary first to be proud of our Gautra, to be proud of our family tradition, our, our tradition of wisdom in which we inherit, that I will follow the rules and regulation, I will be an ideal person in the society. These are fundamentally needed at the beginning of the spiritual journey. And then after that when you mature and try to understand that you are not, you cannot be limited in any area. If you limit then you are not that. Uh, yeah. Yatra itara itaram pashyati, itara itaram shinoti, itara itaram jigrati. Then you are separating. So long there is a minutest separation from anything, then your knowledge is imperfect. See, there we stand now. Therefore, that which is beyond caste and creed, family and lineage, devoid of nama, rupa, guna, dosa, varjita. Now, I have a name, you have a name. We are all different. When someone calls uh, my name, you don't respond. So I identify with this body-mind complex, you identify with your body-mind complex. In this identification with the total, the cosmic identification, your name, my name, no name. This form separates you from me. This form should go. That's why it is said, what is, what is this universe? This universe is Satchidananda Brahman, added with the name and form. Hmm. You understand this point? Satchidananda is the common ground everywhere. That is Brahman. In the ocean, all the waves, you turn differently. You call it wave, ripple, bubble foam, tsunami, that's also wave. But these are different in the shape and size. That's why you give a different name. So this name and this form, if it is wiped out, what will remain here? Satchidanand. <coughs> so Satchidanand is the ground. Only differences is happening in name and form. It is the animal cookies. <laughs> animal cookies? See, we, we can easily understand what is animal cookies. They are made of the same material, no? Only one is elephant, one is cat, one is dog, one is eh, maybe Shiva, another maybe Lakshmi, <laughs> who knows what. <laughs> but only all difference is coming in the name and form. Eh? But the material, Satchidananda is everywhere the same. Is it not a good idea to think about that? We are all animal cookies. <laughs> different look and different form, but constituted of the same eternal element. No. <clears throat> so it is Nama Rupa. And, and also as Nama Rupa comes, merits and demerits, Guna and Dosa. No? Some good qualities, some bad qualities. So, so this comes. I am not that. Because I am pure consciousness. I am absolute Satchidananda. 
and all these attributes of name and form, and when the name and form along with its guna and dosa, its merits and demerits, Barjitam, I am not that. See how it can give a boosting to our understanding and our thinking about how we feel free from all these bondages, all these limitations, that you feel that you are not this, not this. And that desha kalo vishayati vartiya. Desha is the space. I am limited in a space. Particular time we are sitting here at this particular time. And desha kalo vishaya, the sense objects in which we are, the objects of the universe where we are connected. There's this beyond all this. Otivarti. Uh, it is crossing those na- time beyond. That's why Otivarti means time, space, causation. You are beyond that. Just think. This is a point to think, sit together like this. It's a meditation. This verse is to meditate. What to meditate? Start from. But I have no caste. I don't belong to Brahmin or in lower caste, higher caste, upper caste, lower caste. I am not that. I disidentify. Uh, I have no creed. What is your creed? Your philosophy? Eh? You belong to the Dvaito or Dvaito. There is that. These are all in a lower state. I'm, I don't belong to that. Discard, discard, discard. Sit for meditation and think, I am that. How? Discarding this, discarding this. And one by one, then you are identifying with Kula eh? for your family lineage, no? You are, you are proud of your family lineage or you may be uh, really not proud because the family is so uh, different. Hmm? Some people may feel that, oh my family is so bad, I come from this background, ah, ha, ha. They are shy. There is no question of, these are all attributed by the society. Huh? Attributed by the circumstances, environment. But you are not. Suppose a child is born in a very, say, in a um, desperate situation, some children are born here and there. But the same boy is born in some other place. Where is the distinction? If the distinction is that the social custom, the family where he is born, they take that my lineage starts from there. No, your lineage in Brahman. So lift yourself to that level. So you are neither Brahmin, neither locust, neither higher caste. In India, how much it went on to this caste, 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 caste. Uh, untouchable, distouchable, that. And I say, it's a tremendous bondage uh, to limit ourselves into that particular caste. We are Atman. We are that pure. Hmm? So then, then you think that I have not, I am not proud of my great lineage, or I am not very uh, sad that I was born in a low path family or this. See, in the, in the spiritual realm, eh, eh, who cares about which family you are born? No? Your wisdom is the question. Look at that Ramakrishna order. Eh? All types of boys join from different backgrounds. Eh? From the high Brahmin family, high level Brahmin family, to the lowest of the society, we call the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Jews. Huh? What? What? When they realize God? Where well, is the distinction? We don't discriminate anyone. We don't ask, hey, you are coming from which family? Actually, we do not know even. That's a good thing. <laughs> we don't put that question. We only see you are a monk, I am a monk. That's all. <laughs> you love God, I love God. Ah, okay, let us do meditate together. Let us sing together, the song together. What it matters? What background? What background? That is gone. <laughs> that this organization, Sri Ramakrishna, instilled that idea. Hmm. To be spiritual, that is the question. How these limitations I can get out. Already I am limited in so many ways. I don't want to add, add my limitation by thinking this I am this limited by my family, by tradition, by this. But towards the beginning it may give you a boosting. That I belong, okay. Now, uh, you know, he asked what, Brahma Kule, 
where in our family uh, no one is of Brahmamit is born in our family tradition. So you should have the pride, so that it's boosting. It's a question of going to higher and higher realm. But a state should come where you cast up all this pride, all this feeling of bad or high and low. These are all bondage. You are absolute Satchidana. See? With this attitude, Guna Dosa Varjita. Just sit like that, think. Each word, Jati, think. But I have no jati. I am Satchidana. This, this jati, Munusha jati, human race, animal jati. No? You can classify different ways. I am not. I am that essence. I am Brahma, Asmi. I am that Satchidana, the Brahman. I am the ocean of that consciousness. Think, I'm not this. Think, I'm not this. So this is the way. Meditate, meditate, jati, niti, kula, gatra, duragam, throw away, far away, cast into the Pacific Ocean. That means don't keep it with close proximity with you. Not only keep here, but I feel no, throw it away from your mind. See, this is called the sannyas. What is called sannyas? Samnyas. Sammasupena. Nishesena. Nyasana. <coughs> totally. Nishesana. Without any. Uh, what is. Uh, what is uh, anything left. Anything left. Uh, uh, any little trace of anything being left here. Boom. <laughs> Nishesana. Uh, ash. Ash means throw away. You cast away from your vicinity, from your mind. So that is called sannyas. This idea, throw away, that is called sannyas, not give you a plot. Being in your home, you can think, I am not this limitation, I am that. You are a sannyas. That is the definition. Uh, that is this real spirit. But external uh, Gerua hmm, gives you some prestige. Gives you some, <laughs> and salute me and say, ha ha, Swami, you are great. <laughs> and my ego pride gets up. I become more my I am somebody man. <laughs> but anyway, the point is that to throw away your all these uh, characteristics which it is meaning anything that separates you from the cosmic reality. Cast it off. Mercilessly. In your honor. How do you do? Will you go? And, and beat everyone to cast away everybody from your life. <laughs> no. It is your psychological preparation. You, you prepare your mind every day. Think, no, 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 I'm one with everyone. Swami Vivekananda said, no? What is the philosophy of work? It's an unselfish work. Why shall I be unselfish? And what is the response of Swami Vivekananda? What he said? Selfishness is more pain. Uh, no. Why I shall be unselfish? Why I shall love you? Because I am one. Practical Vedanta. Our foundation of our selfless work is practical Vedanta. I am not separate from you. Suppose I, I belong from a head to toe because I am I. No? You pay equal attention if one thorn pricks at your feet or little pin pricks at your back. Or anything happens to your eyes, ears, you don't pay special attention because it is the eyes I have to pay attention. It is in my toe I can ignore. You cannot do that because it is you. You feel the pain. So if I am everywhere, how can I ignore myself? Here or there? That is the practical application of Vedanta. Through the Ramakrishna mission or the Vedanta movement, what it teaches, it does not teach karma, yoga. Karma yoga is good, but you are to follow this philosophy beyond karma yoga, practical Vedanta, application of that truth of Vedantic principle, that I am one with you, in you is me, I cannot ignore your suffering, I cannot but smile at your smile, I cannot be happy with your happiness, 
That is the foundation of this Vedantic principle. Huh? So think this way, that I am not limited by desha. I am space. Kalo. I am born during this period to this period. You are limiting yourself. You are infinite. On this both sides you are infinite. Body was born, not you are born. Jivatma was born, but not the Satchidananda Atma. It does not go anywhere. Where to be born? There is no question of his birth. And as is not, there is no question of birth, there is no question of death. There is no question of old age. All happens in the body. Yeah, anything which, which bothers you, it happens in your mind or body. In the Atman, nothing happens. So, the Sokalo Vishaya, the sense objects in which we are connected, our life is connected every day. We live in this world of five senses. We eat, we sleep, we interact with the sense objects. But I live here, but I am not this, and these Vishayas are not me. So, now you think, therefore Brahma, you touch the machine, you are there. The teacher is saying, say, not this, not this, throw away this, from your cast away, from your mind, that you are identified there. Throw away, throw away, throw away, and think that Brahma, touch the machine, thou art that. Think, what is thou? Thou, the physical body, you have thrown away all the identities. No? Jati, Niti, Kula, Desha, it is all family tradition, the body identity. All these descriptions are what? My name is Saj, my Gotra is Saj, my father is Saj, I am born in this Brahmin family, I am born in this family. You are all talking about the body. Are you talking about your Atman? Atman is born where? Where it will be born? And how it will die? So, Cast away all this, analyze. This is the part of analysis and think, no, 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 I'm not this, not this, not this, or um, that. What teacher is telling me? Brahma, that absolute Brahman beyond all ignorance, beyond all duality, that which exists, that light of the light, uh, that consciousness, eternal consciousness, I am. Behind this body-mind complex, that consciousness, and the cosmic consciousness, what I see here, is behind this name and form of the world. You go down there, is it cosmic consciousness? You go down into the core of your body-mind thing, go deep, deep with the five koshas. You see, here is that same consciousness as is the cosmic consciousness. Yes? Um, can you explain a little bit more um, you were making a distinction between karma yoga and, oh. and I am one with you, I cannot ignore your suffering. What was that? I'm trying to understand. No, no. The question is that unless you feel, see in a in, in, in gross way, if we think you are driving a car, you found that some accident, you don't know that person what has happened, and when he is bleeding or he is something or she is doing something, you immediately feel empathy. You you pull the car out. You call nine one one. You talk. Why are you doing all these things? What 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 is the connection between them? You don't know that person. We do not know we are connected. But at certain moment, when the mind becomes a little pure, seeing the suffering of somebody, you feel ah ha he is suffering. Actually, he is not suffering. You are suffering. That's why you call the doctor. 911. Say, baby suffers. Baby does not suffer much. Mom suffers more. Because mom extends his eye to the baby. Is it not? So, when you, whom you love ever in this life, you love, there is more, you can understand it. You love, that means you extend your eye there. Therefore, you may be perfectly in good health. But you love somebody and he or she is in physical pain or in psychological pain or in monetary difficulty or becoming going through the bad time, you feel more pain and suffering from that. Why do you feel? 
if there is no connection. And it is because you love, therefore you understand it. Even if you don't love anybody, passers by, you do not have any identity, but you feel this empathy. Why? This is scientifically, if we try to understand, psychologically, there must be some connection. Otherwise you'll be happy, okay, let him die. <laughs> and some people will be more happy because he's wiping out his karma, so I should not help. <laughs> but in philosophy, <laughs> somebody told me, so if someone is suffering, why should I help? I will why? Because he is wiping out his karma. I am intervening in his karma. I say, wow, wow, good, good idea. So you suffer tomorrow. And no one will call 911 for you. And no doctor should come to give you medicine. Because you are all wiping out your karma. <laughs> this is the point. Uh, <laughs> this very self is there. They think in that way that their identity is to their body mind. That's why they explain. And wrongly the, the karma theory. So anyhow, the point is that there is a connection, we do not know. Eh? Because you know we are all connected internally, you know. See, look at that. When I, I have some injury and I suffer, you have the injury, you suffer the same way. Your mental agony and pain. You, you find the joy getting good food, I also find joy. So where is the connection? How it is coming? It's not from the tongue or not from the eyes. Not for the physical only, but it has its background, go back, back, back. Yeah? It's on the background of the oneness. So that oneness, Sami Vivekananda said, that is the connection where we are all linked together. Yeah? Only, apparently, this distinction what we find outside, this is only a apparent distinction. Now, that one verse you can make, to read this type of book is very difficult, because one verse can take you <laughs> Actually, if you want to get benefit, you sit every day, take one verse, and just one hour you spend on that. Eh? Word by word, go. I am not this lineage. I am not this family tradition. I don't identify with this gotra. I don't identify with my name. I don't identify with my form. But what I am, I am the H2O. I don't identify with the waves and ripples. We don't identify with the difference between you and me. Big ripple, small ripple, big wave, small wave. These are all in the name and form. But I am something beyond. I am something more than that. Behind that, I am the ground on which all these waves and ripples are jumping and down, coming and down. The Vishwabhichi, uh, and then the Ashtabhakra Sangeeta says beautifully, Mai Ananta Mahambode Vishwavichi Utkhelanti Utpahavata Svabhavata Vriti Kumbhau Jalevichi Kekata Kamitha It is coming up and it is staying and subsiding. Mai Ananta Mahambode That book is also a book of Vedantic meditation. Think! That me, in me, what is me? Anantamaha Madhe. This infinite, great, maha, great, ambudi, ocean. Vishwavichi, eh? there are infinite numbers of ripples. You, me, all these are ripples. One wave, another wave, another wave. Limitless, countless. Trillions, billions, trillions, 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 stars, galaxies, everything is coming out of that. Utpadanti, Khelanti, and Biliyanti. It is playing, it is arising, it is dancing, playing, and dissolving into that. In my that absolute infinite reality on, on that ocean, everything is coming up. Think. Then you are all what? Every wave is nothing but why H2O of the ocean. Same water, only this way. Or that way, or that way, wherever you go, it is nothing but H2. So that is the direction. Sit and think for meditation. Ah, you are that. So even you are in the wave form, you think it is nothing but H2, the same H2 as the ocean. So think that you are that Brahma Nardao meditated on this 
in your mind. Why will you meditate? We have to use the tool. Only tool given is our mind. We have to kill the mind by mind. Eh? Then out in the game, is the example that one thorn has pricked at your feet. You take, collect another thorn and use that thorn to take out the other thorn and throw away both. This mind, which being in confusion, has created this diversity. You are separate from me, I am separate from you. I am happy, uh, uh, for my survival I can uh, get out, uh, trouble other person. Two, for my survival I love others. Gradually, gradually you live in your higher spiritual life. You go on through this, but ultimately you know that, that every distinction is a false distinction. And only we live in that unity. So just sit for meditation and meditate on that. Ah, Tattva Vasi, thou art that. Guru is telling, think that Guru is telling us, that, oh, don't think that this is you. You are a physical entity. Behind you is that Panchakusha, Annamayo, Pranamayo, Manamayo, Vidyanamayo, Anandamayo, Atmame, Shuddhantam. That's why the prayer is, let all this be pure. Shuddha, Shuddha, Shuddha. Uh, and that means, that means it removed from the delusive covering. And then what remains? Jyoti Raham, Viraja, Vipatma, Bhuya Shadum. Meditate on this. I, who am I? And neither the body, Annamayo, neither the pradic force. Pancho, bayu, no? flowing in the body. Neither the mana, the mind, good or bad, whether it is calm or it is disturbed, I am neither of them. Buddhi, which guides my life, not that go. Ego, this ego, petty ego, which I live with, I am not that. Then the what are you? Jyoti Raham. Say, simultaneously say, I am that Jyoti. Jyoti Raham. I am B Raja. Rajas means dust and dust. Raja is Raja quality also. But B Raja means here, Rajas here, all dust and dust. Ignorance. B Raja. I am bereft of B Bhatma. I have no sin. There is no negativity. Sin means negativity. I have no negativity, no darkness in me. Viraja Vipatma Bhuya Sagum So that I can become that which is stainless, pure. And I am become. And become means what? Why are you becoming? Because you are identifying in this five level. You try to rub it, clean it, clean it, clean it. Until you feel this, these are all rubbish gone. And then you are that you are. So, like that, you subjectively see Aham. Go behind Aham. Who am I? And see, look at this universe. Eh? This cosmic gross body. Eh? Cosmic, you know, what is that? Virata, Hiranagarva, go to that. Ishwara, transcend. What is that? Satchitabha. Huh? If we consider from the three states of our consciousness, waking state, dream state, sleep state, and beyond. So, in this gross state, scriptures say, what is the name of my gross state? This is called the Vishwa. And the cosmic gross state, what is the name? Virata. No? Vishwa, now you go to dream. What will happen? This Vishwa turns into Tejasa. That is that's the light. What you see in a dream, what light? That light is Tejasa, or scripture suggest. And what is the cosmic level? That is called the Hiran Nagarva. Hmm? Now go another step. We go to deep sleep. That name in our scripture say, your name will be Pragna. Uh, here all names are different. 
बट वी मूव दिस डिरेक्शन जागरण टू स्वप्न टू सुसुप्ति वेकिंग ड्रीमिंग एंड डीप स्लीप वट विल हैपन यू योर नेम विल बी चेंज दिस इज कल दिराट विश्वास I am Vishwa. You are Vishwa. You are Vishwa. You forget your other names. Can you identify yourself with this name, Vishwa? What is your name, Vishwa? What is my name, Vishwa? Huh? And now, at the cosmic level, all Vishwas add together. It is called Virata. Hmm? So Virata and Vishwa only part, single and big. Is a one one tree and the four forest. So we are forget other identification. Say I am a Vira Vishwa, you are a Vishwa, everyone is Vishwa here. Now all the Vishwas meet together in the collective sense, in the cosmic reality, we call Virata. Now you sleep, you go to dream. Your name is there, Taijasa. T A I J A S A. Taijasa. And you are Taijasa, I am Taijasa, everyone Taijasa. <coughs> And all this put together, what will be the cosmic name? That is called Hiranna Garva. Why Hiranna? Hiranna means gold. Garva means in the womb, bright like that. Eh? In that, in the dream, this light does not work, but there is some subtle light, and that light in me, that light in you, called together, that light is called the Hiranna Garva. Hmm? So now go another step up. When you also go to sleep, I also go to sleep. No dream, neither this physical world consciousness. What are you then? You are called a pragna. Prayeno aggo. Almost we don't know anything. Prayeno aggo. We are almost aggo. Aggo means ignorant. So I am. Prayano Agno, you are also Pragno, you are also Pragno, all are Pragnos. And all these collective Pragnos, what is the name? It is called Ishwar. Understand? So three states. And now, beyond that, if you want to go, beyond Pragna, beyond your deep sleep state, you go. It's a Brahman. Brahman has bifurcated in singular line this way. Cosmic line that way. Make a chart like this. In the cosmic level you call Ishwara, individual level you call Pragna. Almost. Here there is no manifestation of the growth and subtle. And here is also no manifestation. Now one step down, God becomes Hiran Nagarva and you become Taijasa. Now you come down one step. You become Vishwa. Cosmic level, Virat. So now you see, if you follow this chart, then these are all in the three states of our personality, which is changing, changing, changing. You are changing your name. One time you are saying, I am Vishwa. Another time I am Tejasa. Another time I am Pragna. Huh? And in cosmic level, I am Virat. God is identified. Virat means He identifies with all of us. As the, as the president identifies with all the people in the U.S., no? Yeah, they are my people, no? And, uh, and, and, and the people of China, what do you think? They are my people. They are, they are, those are Americans, these are Indians, no? So, this is God identifies in the whole name, Virat. And then, then he goes in the subtle level, it becomes the Hiranagarho and then to Ishwara. So, but all are coming from the same Brahman. So you know, if you individual line, if you move forward this way, you reach the same Brahman. And at the cosmic level also, as I see, if you go bound back, 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 you reach the same Brahman. So, top Tamasi. And there you find this consciousness and that consciousness is the same. Ushi. Ushi means war. This is the same as that. That's why Ushi. The same is identification. So, Tattvamasi Bhavaya. You think you are that. Okay. <coughs> so, okay, I, other verses will be quick. <laughs> 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 the basic understanding will be the same. 
if we uh, work on the base, basic idea. Now we can say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm that. Huh? The same. As many thoughts may come about your little identity, about yourself, your body, your mind, your this, so much will be the distinction. So the teacher is teaching us, no, any thought of division, duality comes, try to throw it away, try to discard it, try to move it, and say, no, these are not true, all of that. Hmm? Yet param. We are talking about Brahman, which is just Param, which is beyond the Supreme, who that which is Supreme, Yat Param, Sakala, Sakala Bhag Agochar. All speech, whatever language you may write, throughout the light about the glory of the Brahman Atman, this Bhag cannot reach you. It's beyond your speech. Bhag Agochar. Bhag cannot capture it. We can capture a glass of water, we can describe. We can capture the idea, what is there. But you try to describe the Atman, that Brahman which you are talking about, no speech can capture that. Likati yudhi sharada grihitva sarva kalam tadapitava mahimana param nayate if the Mother Saraswati herself tries to write the glory, O Lord Shiva, of you, that is the same Brahman, and taking the Pariya to Briksha as the pain, eh? because others will be uh, get blunt soon after writing so much. You have to throw away and get another pain. But no pain. This is a Pariya to Briksha, heavenly Pariya to tree, and the ink, little ink, what? It was Go away. So think that the passive, the ocean, entire ocean is like a water. And the tablet, the Himalayan range, whole plunge into it. So that is the ink. And your paper, paper, which paper? This paper is too small. So the whole surface of the earth is the paper. And who is writing? Mother Saraswati herself. If she wants to start writing about the glory of Lord Shiva, she says, Tadapita Mumahimana Paranajati. A whole life, if she wants to describe that, then still it cannot be described. So, Vijana Shakala Bhag Agosharam. But, are you not realizable then? Gocharam Bhimala Bodha Chakshusha. It is acceptable, understandable, realizable to the person who has Bhimala Bodha Chakshu. One Chakshu, I, have got, he's grown another I. What is that I? That I of wisdom. Right. See, Ramakrishna used to see the world, I also see the world. How we see the world? We see the world as it is name and form or distinction, difference, good, bad, all the time. And we see even worst people, see everything is bad, everything is good. So, they criticize day and night. But Holy Mother said, uh, try to make the world your own. Hey, so this one, own means what? It is you. This Vedanta, Holy Mother, in simple language, what she says, this one. So this is the truth. <coughs> On that background you watch. So, go charang bimala bodha chakshusha. But this truth, what are we talking about? This Brahman, this identification with the Atman which you are, you are only to be experienced by the pure eye of wisdom. It is not that another eye will grow here. I will grow. Ramar Mosi grew an eye here, special eye. Or Ramakrishna or Vivekananda, we see that no eye. The same, the same eyebrow, 
like that. But they have a special eye. You know, a microbiologist, huh? when he looks at anything, there is always microbe everywhere. No? They wash their hand how many times? We do not know we eat it this way, that way. <laughs> <laughs> and their problem is they see something else. Because they deal with that day and night. It is not bad, but I think we are ignorant about that, so we don't care. But they know, oh my God, what is what? <coughs> so they have to be careful about that. So this is the bemol of the, like that. Similarly, the third eye opens up, eh? knowing about the ultimate Brahman. So that eye, penetrating eye, they penetrate to the name and form and see their mother or the Lord, whatever, or Rama or Shiva, the name like that but they see the same consciousness everywhere. Now, Shuddha Chidghanam Adivastuyat. Think of that. Shuddha, your uh, Chidghana. Your Ishta Devata is Chidghana. Chaitanya Kandenat. Adivastu. This is the root. Behind that there is nothing else. You can go, why this, why this, why this, why this? Neti, neti, virama, jahai. Somebody said in the song of Samadhi, neti, neti, virama, jahai. Yeah? Where this neti, neti, neti stops. You cannot go behind that. That means Brahman. Neti, neti, the five courses you can go. And after five courses you do. And then you go to the sixth course, there is no sixth. That is the Atman. So neti neti, where the net not this, not this, not this, not this, and you cannot drive out the last beyond the neti. Yeah? That's why Onu uh, Panchadusi have de- described that Onu Huyante Era Tomko Nivarait. You can Delete, 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 delete. Eh? But how can you delete that which permits everywhere? You can delete from your computer, it goes somewhere to spam, and then you delete there and it goes to another place. Then you say forever delete, it goes, but still it remains somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> In the cloud of her, I do not know if you will know it much more. If you delete from your computer, uh, okay, in your email is gone, but it goes to some other area, then you find out where is that. Okay, you delete that one, and then still, we again ask, it is forever delete. Okay, click that, and then after that, where it goes? Even somewhere in the space, no? So, you cannot delete that, huh? which is everywhere. So, now, that goes to thing. See, the second verse is much easier. See, <laughs> you think that that truth which is beyond <coughs> param sakalam, bak sakalam, bak agucharam, you are praying in the morning, Vishnu eh? Shahasranava. You are saying the glory of the Lord. But that's nothing, it does not describe Vishnu. All you are trying to make an attempt. Durga Saptasuti, you are doing chanting the glory of Mother. You are only saying a little few words, it does not describe what he is. It is not finished, it cannot finish it. That's why the first part. How much praise you do, how much verses you read, it is only a limitation. But your experience, you can dive deep into the experience that it is beyond all this description. But it can be experienced, it can be seen, it can be palpably feel, as Ramadina said, that I see God more palpably than this hand pen. Told Narendra, no, no, no. mm. as I see you, I see more palpably. That means, how you see? He has the two eyes like us. But he does not see as we see. Huh? 